Hey everyone, Dr. Eric, the fitness physician, where I talk about all things related to hormonal fitness and muscle medicine and much, much more. I'm helping everyone across the country, and especially those over 40, optimize their health, hormones, and metabolism so they can live a life full of strength, energy, and vitality. That's what it's all about. So I had another question that I was asked the other day about uh, how to augment and help with thyroid function. This is a common issue that I deal with. I have a lot of patients with thyroid issues and metabolism issues, weight loss, et cetera. So that's why I was uh, talking to them about that. And the question came up about supplements. You know, what should I be taking if I have thyroid issues or what should I not be taking? I've done several videos on this before, but I want to do a little bit, a uh, little bit more of a deep dive into a few more that uh, that people ask about too. So, because these are important because a lot of people take a lot of different supplements. Some are needed, some are not. And there's a lot of extraneous ones and some that get forgotten about. So. B12 is a common one, right? Everybody thinks a lot of people uh, are familiar with B12. Sometimes it gets forgotten. Um, the issue is that a lot of people um, are deficient, especially those who have thyroid issues. Up to 40% of people are deficient in B12 who have thyroid dysfunction. So if you're not taking it, you, this can compound the problem of hypothyroidism or other thyroid uh, hormonal uh, irregularities that you may have and may augment your abnormal symptoms. Obviously, we want to stop this. This is a big problem. There's many reasons for this. Uh, some of it's diet, some of it's medication interaction, some of it's digestion and absorption. B12, uh, a lot of people get it through foods. B vitamins are in a ton of different foods, but some people just can't absorb it or break it down. They don't have the enzymes in their mouth or in their stomach um, for a different reason, the genetic abnormalities or other medications they're on or um, genetic uh, issues like MTHFR, which I'm going to talk about, stomach acid problems or other medications that are causing side effects, etc., and other medications that can affect their uh, acid secretion or stomach. A lot of people are on proton pump inhibitors and other medications that can affect their ability to digest foods. A lot of people need digestive enzymes uh, for this reason, not just for B12, but for other nutrients as well. Uh, you know, B12 is, into, and like a lot of the other B vitamins, are intimately involved in many things with energy, mood, uh, memory. Uh, metabolism, fat, uh, metabolism and fat loss, etc. <clears throat> so it's extremely important. A lot of people who are deficient have a lot of these symptoms. That's why a lot of people who are suffering on B12 have improvement in all these things, energy, mood, weight loss, metabolism. So again, on the, again, when you're deficient B12, you know, what do people complain of? Brain fog, can't think, uh, fatigue, tired. Some people have shortness of breath and others more severe symptoms, uh, skin rashes and other issues. But what, that, what does that sound like? Thyroid, a lot of people have, you know, thyroid or they're, they're overweight, they can't lose weight, they're tired, they're cold, you know, a lot of these symptoms kind of blend together. As, so this is gonna be a common theme you'll see, which makes it very confusing and very difficult sometimes. So, you know, how do we fix this? You know, again, clinical symptoms, what are you having? Let's talk about your history, your diet, all these other things that I go into on an in-depth evaluation that I have with my patients. Testing, of course, and a lot of people will test for B12 on a blood test, but sometimes this isn't always accurate. Um, sometimes it can be, sometimes it's not. So sometimes we'll have to do a deeper dive and look at things like homocysteine, methylmalonic acid, and I look at, uh, when I get a CBC, looking at your blood counts, I get the, what's called a differential, it looks at different things. One of these is an MCV and an MCH. And these are things that are often forgotten about, but these, if you look at some of these subtle indices, indices, you could see some things and indications of other nutrient deficiencies. B12 is one of them, so it's one of the things that I look for. Um, MTHFR is a genetic a variation. People have been in, a, in the uh, media and social media a lot in the last couple of years. Obviously, this requires genetic testing, but a lot of people know if they have this, if they've done uh, some genetic testing or um, you know some of these ancestries, things like this, they can they can pick up on that. But these people have problems absorbing B12, and as I mentioned, if you're taking like say metformin or other medication that can interfere with your stomach digestion, um, you are not getting enough B12. Uh, people that again, especially those are getting people older, over 50, 60, have problems with again uh, producing enough stomach acid or enzymes in their mouth to digest and absorb B12. You need a, a, a a compound called intrinsic factor that is made uh, internally and if you're not making this then you're not going to absorb the b12 so that's when it comes to treatment sometimes again oral supplementation is, is a nice way to augment what you're eating in the food but again for these people sometimes just injections work well to bypass the system if you just can't absorb it because of all these issues no matter what you can try orals there's uh, other some sublingual forms of different things like that you could try that but if it's still not working then you might have to do some injections which is very easy to do simple sub q or im shot you can give once a week easy uh, and oftentimes I'll give these in with a few other compounds with them as well for weight loss and fat loss, but very easy fix, very simple to do. And a lot of, you know, this has been around forever, right? You hear, I have a lot of uh, elderly patients who uh, have been on this for years and decades, right? So it's a very easy fix, but that's, it's a common nuance is that sometimes with people, I'm taking B12, I'm, t I'm eating a lot of, you know, foods with B vitamins in them. Uh, but that might be why, because you lack intrinsic factor, where you lack digestive enzymes, or you have a medication uh, interaction. These are commonly overlooked all the time. And even if your levels are okay, they might not be optimal, as I talk about normal versus optimal a lot. 
better be on way high on the upper end of normal because it's a B vitamin. They're water soluble, so you can't get enough. If you take too much, you're just gonna excrete it out in the urine, so it's not a big deal if you take too much. But a lot of people are taking a supplement in their uh, upper end, but I like them to be up high. So if it, when in doubt, take more, right? And it's best to take them in conjunction with other B vitamins too, and I'll talk about that in future videos, but it's better just to take all the, you know, many, several B vitamins as opposed to just one. And it's easier to get them that way as well. So anyway, very important for thyroid and other people too with overall metabolism and fat loss as I've been talking about fat loss in my videos of late. So hope you like this, like it, share it. Let me know what else you want to talk about. Stay tuned. My first of many courses can be launching soon. I'm be launching some other online programs, uh, a, a fat loss, a weight loss program, which is going to be uh, very, uh, very cool. Some cutting edge uh, protocols that uh, not too many people are doing around the country utilizing some different compounds and techniques and strategies. So uh, reach out to me if you want to learn more. Go to DrEricPrimex.com. Check out my pages on social media and my YouTube channel and like this post. Like as I said, share it. Let me know what else you want to talk about. Comment below. Everyone have an awesome day and we'll talk to you soon.